How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Anthem video and yeah I've been missing for a few days, my daily videos haven't been coming but honestly there hasn't been much to talk about and in terms of good news there's really been not much going in the world of Anthem. There has been a lot of negativity, a lot of over exaggeration, a lot of people crying over things that really aren't that big of a deal but you know there are underlying problems in Anthem but in this video I'm not going to be covering any of those, I'm not going to be covering the recent reveal about the whole botting and the whole AI of Skynet being involved. I'm going to leave that for another video. I'll cover that in a bit more depth and go into that a bit more because I do have some first-hand experience with Destiny in regards to this actually being a thing. But I'll leave that for the next video. In this video what I want to talk about is the store which is pretty damn awesome this week. We finally get the Colossus and Interceptor Scar armor sets. We also get the Dragon Scales, some cool emotes. So all in all, it's a really nice store this week for all classes. So that aside, I hope you enjoy it. It's gonna be pretty cool. This is what it looks like on the Colossus. So a member of my Discord actually uh, posted pictures of the Colossus and Interceptor. This is what it looks like. It looks pretty damn snazzy, pretty damn cool. I like it. So I'll be picking them up this week along with the Dragon Scales because, you know, Dragon Scales are cool, right? So thanks to Tiska for doing this and to the rest of you, if you're tired of people being negative about the game or having a really negative view or not being objective about the game, being, uh, being able to see past the negatives and the positives, well, my Discord is open to you. The link is in the description below. Drop by, say hi. We've got sections for PC, Xbox, PS4. We're always looking to expand the player base for each group so more people have more choice to play. So if you're looking for players on either platform, drop by, say hi, and join the fun. Constantly discussing stuff, so enjoy your stay and I hope to see you there. Right, shameless self-promotion out the way. Weapons, armor is coming to Anthem. Yes, it's not the 1 billion advertised by Borderlands, but then again, 200 million of those are probably white, which are completely and utterly pointless, so we gotta take things into perspective, right? So we're getting a number of weapons into the game. You can see the first one on screen now. It's pretty nice. It reminds me of the Halo Blaster. It reminds me of the weapons that were used by the Grunts, the basic cannon fodder in Halo, and the Jackals and Skirmishers, you know, the ones with the shields. It was a kind of rounded weapon, as you can see on screen. So it reminds me of this. And when we look at the stats, it's got 80 ammo, 8 round clip, it's RPM is at 120, it looks pretty nice, it seems to be a sidearm, all in all, it looks like a nice weapon. Next up we have what potentially could be Jera's Wrath, I know they said it was already in the game, well I guess it wasn't. Well here we have another weapon to put into the fray. Again, the ammo total is 300. It's got 7 impact force, so it's got a bit of pushback. It's got a 30 clip, 800 RPM, so it's going to be a really high firing weapon with its impact damage at legendary status at 675. This is hopefully going to be a really nice weapon and one that will help put weapons into the forefront and make them a lot more viable. I know your venues is pretty awesome right now with the whole lightning burning down the shields, considering it does do 50% damage to the shields, so it's pretty awesome. But hopefully these weapons will add the spice we want. Next we have this beauty. We have a total ammo of 500, an RPM of 4000, a clip of 50. It's gonna churn through bullets like crazy. Based on those numbers, I would suggest this is an auto cannon, but it probably won't be based on what it looks like. But its design is pretty nice and it is a unique weapon and not like anything we've seen. It still has a similar model to the others, I can see it, especially where the back is and the grip of the weapon. I can still see them building these weapons based on the current gen model, so they are almost like reskins, but they're different enough for them to be classified as unique weapons in my honest opinion. And this one has a 380 impact. Based on the previous weapon that we saw, which had 675, well, considering how fast this one fires, this 380 will absolutely cripple most fingers fighting. So I'm looking forward to this weapon, trying it out and doing a mini review. Next up, we have probably one of the most unique looking weapons. It looks crazy. It's got some kind of disc in the middle. It looks funky. It looks crazy. It's exactly what Anthem needs right now. Cool looking weapons. Yes, I know when you're flying about in your javelin, you don't really see them. But when you're looking at your weapons and your builds and everything else, 
this is the type of thing you like to look at. You like to look at the aesthetic of the weapon. And sure, you're not seeing it in game as much as you can, unless you're playing on PC and bring the camera as close to you as humanly possible, then you definitely can. But for everyone else, you probably won't get as good a view as ever. But still, when you're in your forge and you're going through your weapons and checking them out, you like to see something looking cool. And this one does look unique in every way. So hopefully it's actually going to be a really nice weapon. Again, this one has an ammo of 50. Its impact force is 600. Its clip is 5. This definitely looks like a shotgun. And the impact alone is 1055 for a 75 level legendary. So again, this does look like a shotgun. It might not be a shotgun. It might be something completely and utterly new. We don't know. But based on these figures, but hey, look, I did miss that completely. And it does have a 300 RPM, so I assume it's going to be an auto-firing shotgun. So with that said, I'm looking forward to this. I mean, it might not be a shotgun again. 300 RPM may be low, may be high. But for me, 300 RPM seems about right for a shotgun, especially if it's an auto-firing shotgun at a high rate. And this weapon can easily be something like that. Or an energy burst shotgun, right? It could be based on energy bullets. So who knows? the mind goes wild when it doesn't know. So hopefully the creators over at Bioware can be as creative and forward thinking as I am and start letting their imaginations run wild so we can go and collect these. And I hope, for the love of God, these are not going to be just random drops. Hopefully these will be something that we can go into strongholds or contracts or things like this to actually search for. And through the data mining that people have been doing, these have been appearing as drops from legendary titans and certain strongholds and things like this so it's pointing towards that direction obviously we don't have a clear-cut reasoning and the data mining can only say so much can only show so much but if that is the case and they are starting to make content specific weapons content specific items i think this is definitely a good thing for anthem and it encourages you to go into said content to do that content and actually earn the said reward so in my opinion, this is definitely a good thing and hopefully we can go forward and uh, see more of this stuff in the game, especially when it comes to gear and components and stuff like this. So next up, you wanted it, we're getting it. You wanted Masterwork Support Gear. Well, it looks like each class is getting a single Masterwork Support Gear. We're getting a heavy support gear here, which is for the Colossus. Additionally, regenerates 50% shields per half second. So you get 100% shield regeneration every second. Pretty damn awesome. It lasts for 10 seconds and it's a real nice item to have. It's got a 45 second recharge rate. It's going to be a lovely piece of additional item, especially for those GM3 encounters where you're getting pummeled and you can just sit in there and absolutely rake havoc. Next, we have Slayer's Furore. And this one is for the Interceptor, upgraded target beacon. Marking a target also marks additional enemies near that target. Now, if you're a Colossus and when you combo, you deal damage to everyone around it, that's going to be insane synergy right there. So this could actually be something really awesome that we're about to see here. Its recharge rate is 30 seconds. Its ability duration is 15 seconds. Its blast radius is 20. So all in all, I think this can be a real game changer when it's finally released. We have Tarsus's Last Stand, which is a ranger piece. In addition to gun damage, all damage is increased by 20% while inside the muster point. So the muster point generally just augmented gun damage. This now increases all damage, melee, skills, abilities, and hopefully combos. 20% additional combo damage is insane just for being inside the sphere. So Hopefully this can bring the ranger into the forefront a bit more. Its ability duration is 10 seconds. Its recharge rate is 60 seconds, so a little bit longer than I would have thought it would be. Its secondary duration is 5 seconds. Now we don't know what this means. I'm assuming if you kill enemies within the actual sphere, it may add another stack to your ability duration, and this will only go up by 5 seconds. But one thing is for sure, those items that we're giving you 40% more skill support and things like this, this is going to be a game changer and you're going to want to be using those now. So if you have them, don't break them with the Masterwork support gear inbound. It's going to be a hot item to have, especially if you use these for additional DPS, right? Finally, we have Anthem's Grace. This one is a support seal, so it's for Storm. Additionally increases gear damage by 20%. 
just casually increasing your gear damage on use by 20%. Storms already are a glass cannon, they're supposed to be the DPS class, they're really good at CC, but burst damage they're supposed to be really good. So that you're taking a really good class and increasing its support damage by another 20%. So all in all, this is going to be a fantastic piece for Storm. And it's in the support ability, right? So you're definitely just going to plug it in there, increase your gear score so you get more power. And then you're going to add another 20% to give you even more power. This ability duration is 10 seconds. Its recharge rate is 72 seconds, which again is a little bit high. I don't understand why it's so high. But there you go. It's a really nice piece and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this synergizes with my Colossus because everything here has to synergize with the Colossus, right? Because Colossus is the master class. We all know this, we all accept this. Everyone that agrees with me, let me know in the comment section below because, you know, Colossus is the best, right? Colossus is the number one class, so just agree with me on the, at the bottom, yeah. Next, we have three armor sets which have the acronym MTX. These most likely will be appearing in a cash shop near you. What you're seeing on screen now is the Ranger set, which looks pretty nice. I actually do like it. It looks really funky and pretty cool. So hopefully this will actually turn out to be good and hopefully appear in the game soon, maybe, please. Well, we'll soon see, won't we? But this is the weakest of the three, in my opinion, because the Storm one looks absolutely freaking epic. Come on. I mean... I'm not a fan of Storm, I don't like Storm, I'm generally against Storm because I just can't use them. I don't like them, I don't like their playstyle, but damn this looks good son! This looks amazing! Come on, this looks so freaking awesome, I'm really looking forward to this, it looks actually really really nice. And I know a bunch of friends who's actually going to really like this and pick this up straight away. The whole decal, the cloak, the seals, they just look really nice so uh... Yeah, I think this one is definitely up there as the best of the three that is coming to a store near you. Finally, we have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Colossus. Yes, this is number one in the pack because it's a Colossus. I don't care if you don't agree with me, it's a Colossus. This is pretty cool. I like the way you've got those clamps at the front, the nipple clamps. You've got the little hook at the back that can basically allow you to be picked up by a crane and taken anywhere you want. Proper lazy mode, that is me. I like it. You've got the shin pads, you've got the knee pads, you've got everything here. And you've got that dastardly looking face at the bottom picture. It looks pretty awesome, nice, sleek, I like it. So all in all, you know, these are three really nice sets coming. I think the Ranger one is definitely the weakest one out of the lot. But this is still a really nice set. The only set that's actually been missed out, that's not been found yet, is the Interceptor set. So hopefully soon we'll be able to get wind of that and I can post that in my next video so we can have a look at it and see what it's like well guys that's pretty much it for this video it's been a fun video to make it's been nice to be able to get excited about anthem again and excited about talking about things in a positive sense again so if you've enjoyed this video if you've liked this video and want to see more content on anthem by me hit that like button it really helps the video don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all content I release. Don't forget to share because sharing is caring. It really helps get the video and the channel noticed through the YouTube algorithm. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you all. You're the best. And until the next video, remain legend.